Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from Mondoggy with Chris Curtis and my beautiful guest. Tell me about my beautiful unfeathered boa that I'm wearing. This is a gorgeous eastern indigo, one of the rarest, most protected snakes in the United States. This particular species comes from Florida up into Georgia. Uh, <clears throat> Parts of the East Coast, very beautiful, very rare. Probably one of the most sought after reptiles in the collection, in the pet trade. So you might be wondering why they're called indigo when it may appear black, and it's because they actually iridesce in full spectrum light, kind of a luminescent blue. Tell us a little bit about this species and how you ran across this specimen. This is one of the specimens we bought through the collection out of Chicago, Illinois, where we brought some of the trees back. It's, we, we have a pair. This is the male, I believe. The gentleman that we purchased them from, bought them from a breeder in California. The, one of, like I said, the most sought after snakes in the industry, and you can see that gorgeous indigo color. I mean, incredible. They are beautiful. Now, how large does this species get? I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's the largest harmless, non-venomous snake in the United States, or the second. It's between this and the Eastern King, if I'm not mistaken, but they get eight feet for sure. Huge. So uh, what type of what type of enclosure do you keep this animal in? We keep this animal in a probably four and a half foot by three and a half foot by three and a half foot enclosure. We try to give it a wood design to where it can climb on and hide underneath. They are mostly terrestrial. They feed on other snakes. They feed on rodents, they feed on chicks, birds, any type, they'll eat anything. Fish, they love fish. They're extremely, extremely docile. So these are opportunistic feeders in the wild. Do you think it's important to give them a diverse diet in captivity? Absolutely. <laughs> I would recommend a diverse diet to all animals that will take any other food. Well, this is one lucky indigo to have found its way here to you. Thanks for sharing this animal with us, and I can't wait to see what you show me next. It's a gorgeous specimen.